The lawsuit filed by a transgender Tennessee woman centers around what happened at a state office like this, where people go to get driver's licenses. After first getting her passport successfully changed to reflect her correct gender and appearance. When she's presented an ID that didn't match her uh, gender, where people have refused her service and people have called her slurs and things like that. But the folks at the State Department of Safety and Homeland Security told the Monroe County woman they couldn't change it. Following a law the state legislature passed defining someone's sex as determined by their biological anatomy at birth. The department then created a rule saying they couldn't change the sex on a driver's license to match someone's gender identity if it didn't match with their sex at birth. People don't realize how often administrative agencies come into play in our lives, um, but they, they do all of the time. This was a rule created by one of those administrative agencies, the State Department of Safety, something state law allows them to do. But the ACLU says that's only if the department lets people know about the change it wants to make, which the ACLU says it never did. They have to publish it on the Secretary of State's website for a certain amount of time. Um, and here, uh, the um, Department of Safety didn't do any of that. So far, the Department of Safety has said it does not comment on pending litigation. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.